In today's progress notes, I'm going to talk about scaffolding. Scaffolding is a technique that involves gradually removing support as students become more confident in a specific area of learning. My position at my school is called the Chairperson for the Committee on Special Education or CSE Chairperson. Essentially, I'm the boss and am responsible for all services related to special needs students and the delivery of the instruction for those students. I often volunteer to work with students who have the most extraordinary needs. Today, I'm gonna to talk about Sarah. Sarah is 12 years old and she has selective mutism. Selective mutism is a condition in which a person chooses when and when not to speak. So the person could be loud and boisterous at home. However, when they come to school, they're as quiet as a mouse. Sarah performed normally up to two years ago, and then she went into a psychosis. A psychosis is a mental health condition that's characterized by a disconnection from reality. I interviewed her when her parents wanted to transfer her to my school about a year and a half ago. She spoke a bit when I saw her. She read aloud, albeit at a very low tone. She was answering reading comprehension questions on a third grade level. Now she hardly speaks. The psychosis has said in even more. Now I ask her to do a thumbs up or a thumbs down to communicate. Assessing her has been extremely challenging because she won't respond verbally. She will usually speak to me if we're in a room alone and even those responses are severely limited. She regularly responds to written questions in her schoolwork. Her responses to these questions are concrete and sometimes non-intelligible. For example, when I first started working with her, I asked her a question like, what is your favorite day of the week? Or what's your favorite food? She might respond correctly, or she might write something unintelligible. While she can read on a third grade level, she can't interpret what she reads. She can say the words, but can't decode their meaning. What has worked for her at times are three to four sentence paragraphs in which she responds to yes or no questions in written form and then draws a picture about it. I started giving her an assignment about three weeks ago where she has to write sentences with words I confirmed that she understood using pictures of the words. The purpose of the assignment is to find a way to move her from answering low level questions like yes or no questions to more inferential questions. Initially, she was only writing one sentence every 10 minutes. Now she's writing five sentences in 10 minutes. A possible next step for her will be for her to elaborate on her sentences. For example, if I give her a question like, what is your favorite day of the week? Giving her a follow-up question like, why is this your favorite day of the week is a possible place to start. Determining what students like Sarah need can be a challenge. It involves a lot of trial and error. It can involve creating specially designed instruction or SDI for short. SDI is instruction tailored just for a specific student. Artificial intelligence programs like ChatGPT have been extremely helpful for me in providing SDI for Sarah. What ChatGPT does is it gives me suggestions on type of instruction that I can create for Sarah. It will also create the instruction itself. I anticipate 
Sarah making incremental progress in writing.